Excuse me. All right, I'll stare. Let's do this. Ready? So I'll yeah. brief. I'm just gonna just, you know, when I say, you know, hey, what's up? It's brief, and then just introduce yourself, whole name, hometown. I hope he's recording all this right now because that's the intro. <laughs> what's up, everybody? I'm here with Reeve. You want to introduce yourself, whole name, hometown? Uh, nah. Reeve Macintosh. Let's leave it at that. And then, you know, Reeve, you know, Black Bear Surf Club this year. Yeah, We're slab doing of like the a season. Slab of the season. Incredible. Yeah, what's your thoughts? How do you feel about that? What's your opinion? Uh, I try to keep my opinions to myself nowadays, but I'll give a little bit. I'm glad someone's doing it. Right. And it's really amazing that Black Bear's doing it because he's our friend and he's an up and coming brand. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm excited for him and everyone else. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what happens and who gets it and who gets the money and all that good stuff that comes along with catching a crazy slap here in the What North would you Shore. do if you want 10 grand? I mean, yeah, I'd probably, I don't know, put it towards something very productive for the family. Nice. I don't know. There's so many things you could do with it. Well, we're gonna give you, the winner gets uh, cash too. Oh, the it's gonna be stack. cash, that's like a amazing. stack. Yeah, that's it's gonna what be you stacks. Don't, that's what you don't get. You don't get ever. it. It's not gonna be a check. It's gonna be you cash. You get the big check, and then you're like, wait, what? where's the cash? <laughs> you gotta go to the bank. You gotta get a real check. Actually, you can't walk in the bank with a big one. You've had multiple ways. I was, you know, when I was watching you, when I was young, growing up, you're the man. Thank you for always being such an epic human. I didn't start off as that epic human. I know. That's okay. In the corner, being <laughs> rousted. <laughs> <laughs> but no that's right. No one gets roused anymore, so. Right, but but you grew up in that era, you know, and then you had to deal with all that. How was it growing up? Kind of like every foreigner's experience, even though I wasn't a foreigner, <laughs> but even just being from another island, it doesn't mean, just because you're from another island doesn't mean you come over and it's all gravy, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, at least for me, it wasn't. I came over, like, I'm not from here. Like, yes. this is in my backyard. I'm taking scraps. I'm taking leftovers. and Right soak it up over the years and years of putting time in like I don't sound like a cliche but yeah putting time in is the way you eventually get those waves that you right. dream of as a kid mm -hmm. <laughs> or as time. a foreigner or <laughs> however it is but yeah you got to put your time in not just putting your time in but be respectful and you know saying you know putting introducing yourself and all that goes yeah. a long way yeah, right yeah, coming yeah. by hey you know that's another whole layer to getting those waves of being respectful and you know I deal with a lot of foreigners so it's always like yeah don't be scared if these guys come in the yard you know introduce yourself like embrace them and you know Offer learn, us a learn from them I mean I mean don't be scared I mean you can be scared but just go up and say hi because yeah, you don't want to be the guy like oh wow, wow what's his problem you don't want to say hi right. like, oh he's scared but <laughs> Well, fuck, what's to be scared of? I mean, yeah, you should be scared, but please come say hi. <laughs> right. And then run away. Mm -hmm. and it kind of goes a long way, especially here in Hawaii. Yes, yes, it does. Like, did you have anybody that took you under their wing when you came to North Shore and kind of showed I you mean, the ropes? I mean, obviously, I grew up and I had, you know, friends like Andy and Bruce and Kamale and, you know, Fuller. Those guys are all from where I'm from, so. But they were here a lot, obviously, more than me, but it was nice to have friends, but. Friends can only take you so far. You gotta like show it in the water. Right. Like, oh, that's that's that guy. That's that guy. <laughs> that's Burger's friend, Reef. <laughs> the guy yeah, who's in the corner, or the Howley guy. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Fuck, that was a good wave he just got, you know. But then obviously, no. No one really takes you under their wing. Right. It's yeah. kind of like you almost have to like put yourself in someone's wing. Right. After a long time. After you start to feel semi comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, like obviously I didn't grow up here. I don't I didn't know Derrico since I was a kid, but right. like knowing Uncle D from watching him and right. then like surfing next to him and then eventually talking to him in conversations right. and like obviously he's not here this anymore. It's crazy unfortunate, but I did learn I learned a lot from just watching people. Like I always tried to tell that to like I don't wanna name names, but I always it it worked, the, the effect worked of like, hey, just watch. Right. Go on the channel and watch. I don't know, body surf, watch, mm -hmm. or, you know, put your time in, but. Any little bit watch. counts. Every little bit, every little, I mean, even days like this, I mean, I look out and it's out, I'm like, oh, I guess that's what I used to do too. Like, I find she respects that. And she's always watching, so. Right. 
she rewards. She does reward. In a nutshell, she rewards. I remember one day I was just surfing, surfing by one of those junk days and like, I'm like, what are you doing out here? Oh, I'm just out here, just, just came to say hello. Just uh, say hi, hi, just reminder I'm here. That's yeah, all. Like, that was like, that was <laughs> that like was a, so every winter ritual, come back, <laughs> mm-hmm. even if it's first day or whatever, a crappy day, just right. go out, you know, show the love. She shows you love. Right. Because when you're out there on those days, you're like, like you said, you're like looking around, like, what are you doing out here? I'm like, oh, I'm just, I'm just out here, just you know, hanging out. Like, what? A, where else would you want to hang out? Right. And then when you're surfing out there, who do you kind of catch? Like, you know, everyone has a certain spot they like to sit at. Where do you like to sit at? And who do you kind of catch yourself like sitting next to? You, yeah. you have, like, you have kind of. I mean, like I know that? you're asking me the same question you ask everybody, but I'm gonna give a little bit of a different answer because I've been doing it for a long time and obviously when I first started I wasn't sitting by anybody mm-hmm. I was sitting in the channel right <laughs> or I was sitting out of the way freaking. <laughs> but when it's like those days where oh it's shitty but then there's like oh there's those diamonds in the rough so when it's big and crappy and no one's around then you can kind of sit wherever you want right you can really figure it out those wash through then, days when there's no one out those days are even medium size whatever Southwest wind, whatever it's going on, but it doesn't have to be big, but even when there's no one out, that's when you learn a lot because then when everyone is out, you're like, okay, I remember kind of where I was, but I can't go there right now. But right. once that person and that person and that person go in, then I can go over right, there. I can right. go where I want to go. So that, fa- that factors in where I'm going and yeah, how I, how I attack or how I sniper around the lineup. Right. So, I don't know. I don't really. I, w- I don't know if I really followed anyone. It was more of like I went where I wanted the wave to be. Right. Okay. Like I was only looking for a certain kind of wave. Right. Everybody has that. Yeah. Yeah. Like sometimes it doesn't. You don't catch a wave. You've got there for four <laughs> hours. Like damn, I'm being way too freaking picky. <laughs> and then you look back and you're like, damn, I should have went on that <laughs> one. Like, oh man, that guy just got piped. I let it. Oh, well, whatever. But right. I think that's how he gets the older you get. The more time you put in, you get a little more selective, but on those days I catch myself, I'm like, man, I should just went out there and got busy. Mm-hmm. Instead of going out there and being like, oh, I only want to bomb. Right. And what's like your ideal, like, what's your favorite kind of condition to surf like? Like what's your like swell direction, all of that? I don't exactly know. You don't know? You yeah. just, like, if it looks good, you just go out there, huh? Because it's always good. Right. In my mind, okay. it's always good. No matter what direction, what size. <laughs> Obviously, I like it offshore. Right. I don't know, like a side offshore, you know, but, or glassy. I don't know the exact wind direction, but I try not to be too picky. Right. If it I looks like good, it, you're out there. Like I said, it always looks good, but obviously there's the dream scenario. You wake up that one morning, you're like, oh my God, today's the fucking day. You fucking get one, then you don't get one, but you see all your friends getting them. You're like, oh, that was a bomb. Burger just got, oh my God, burger got the wave of the day. Oh my God, what the fuck? What just happened? <laughs> That's insane. Good for him. Uh, where's mine? <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm on the bar drinking beer on the beach. <laughs> I'm already celebrating for you. Free celebrator. Oh, holy shit. And then, um, what kind of, uh, whose surfboards are you riding? And what, what size boards are you riding on those kind of your days, like those days? Right now, what am I writing? Or what am I what, what, whatever, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, I got a good little story. So I used to yeah, ride this help. guy named Jerry Smith. His, yes. his name is Poi Surfboards. Okay. And well, I think it was like the the downstairs people I lived with on Kauai, they, they, there's two twin girls and they got boards from him. And, and they were like, oh yeah, he wanted to make you a board. I'm like, sick, I, I love anything. <laughs> right, Same. right. Yeah, so yeah, I hooked it. up with this guy and he was, you know, he took me as far as he could take me, and then I switched to like another guy. And then Kyborg once told me, he's like, wow, you're only as good as your equipment. Right. I'm like, wow, fuck, you're right. I'm <laughs> cooking it. It makes sense, because like, when I ride Andy's broken boards, I put back together, they feel magic. <laughs> magic Arakawa, so I'm like, you know what? I'm all, boy, I know you're you're like laminating at Eric's, but can I get in there? And I'm like, I want to build the relationship. I want to start riding Arakawa. So I rode Arakawa for like 10 years. I bet, okay. And that was like, you know, that's as good as you can get for pipeline and what I wanted to do around the world, like for legit, serious, yeah. real waves. Yep. That's, you know, master right there. So once I started riding Arakawa, all kinds of crazy things started happening for me. 
Everything started clicking. I'm, I always look back now, I'm like, what happened happen if I stayed on the other guy's board? <laughs> no, no, that's no, definitely the boards. Right, definitely right, the boards. Right, right. <laughs> and you know how you're saying you grew up with Andy, Bruce, Combley, all those guys? How was it growing up with those guys? How was the rivalry and the... Was it fun? And there wasn't no rivalry. There was that? no rivalry okay. because those guys were like a hundred times better than anybody. Well, that's so. Uh, it was yeah, like, yes, and what guys would tell. But I've heard stories of like you taught those guys how to grab brown. That's pretty damn impressive. And watching you surf out there, like yeah, that kind of makes sense, guys. It kind of does. I mean, I feel like everyone taught each other some right. things. Like obviously they're legends and icons in the sport, but. I was just there kind of like absorbing and all. I mean, right. we're all kids. We're like two, one, two years apart from each other. So there wasn't like a big rivalry. It was more like those guys are gnarly. Like, how do I become gnarly? Right. I be gnarly. Mm -hmm. So they were so that, gnarly. That definitely pushed you guys. So yeah, it, was, yeah, it, was, it, it helped you reach a different yeah, uh, other level of surfing. Like, every, you know what I mean? When you're watching it, you're like, oh, yeah, you're that's off. what I got to do. Right. Or, that's what I need to do. But it's like, I got to level you up. Know, those guys are on like the, you know, equipment was so important at a young age. Right. They're on really good equipment. You know, they're here on the North Shore all the time. I'll try and tell my dad, like, hey, yeah, I want to go to Oahu with them. I need to go surf North Shore. Right. He's like, oh, go, you know, go get a job. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> so. But didn't you? That's, so that's another story. Uh, where were you working? I mean, and where I, were I, you? I, when you first started coming here, you were working well, no, and all that? I, I came after high school thinking it was all going to happen, and yes. it didn't happen. So I was like, you know what? I'm out of here because right. nobody works here. Everyone just surfs and gets right. paid. I'm like, I don't want to be the only guy working and missing all the good surf. So I just went back to Hawaii and got a job at Wake Up, and everyone would come eat after surfing all day, and I'd be in there slapping chili pepper chicken together or whatever they're ordering off the menu and then I don't know I just say I took the long route right. to get to where I wanted to go right but but you, it was but cool you did it oh, though yeah, yeah. It's, 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 no, but it's cool to hear your story because everybody has a different route and a different yeah. you know path I, and it takes some guys are quick sometimes 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 guys take time I took the long route but I never gave up on the dream that's the thing you can never give up it uh, my dad was like, oh, join the military. I'm like, yeah, military. Uh, I want to be a pro surfer. He's like, I don't think you are. I'm like, no, I'm going to. Right. It was like that. He says he never said that, but I'm like, no, no. It was like Ricky Bobby. You know? If you're not first, you're last. So I was freaking, I was going to do it to prove him wrong. Right, right. So it all happened. Thanks to, you know, obviously it's nice having friends like Andy and Bruce who were like, no, that guy's the man. you mm -hmm. got to sponsor him. Like telling the guys at Quicksilver and so it all worked out. Met Strider. Right, okay. He, he heard the rumors. And then I was at the quick house and sleep on the floor. Worked my way to the couch, to the bed. All right, you got way over the decade too, right? I have a hard time talking about myself. So if he wants to fluff me up, then I can kind of... <laughs> Going yeah, he did get the, he did get the wave of the decade and the wave of the winter. Have you seen that right? It's from a crazy off the wall wave. What was like? What would you say? That was a twelve foot on the first reef. That was a slab. It, it was a, it was a freaking <laughs> solid. Like I would, I would say bigger, but twelve foot solid. One of the craziest double ups took off deep behind it, and you just literally disappeared. The vacuum feeling like that, that it must have been crazy. And like, who'd yeah. you link up with in the photo? That crazy photo. Who was the water? Who shot that water angle? Was it Noy or Bielman? That guy riding that board yesterday we were it talking was Bielman. about. Bielman, okay. <laughs> Brent. <laughs> <laughs> He's an amazing photographer though, Brent. That shot was crazy, but that wave yeah. reef, what, how, what, what, I heard the waves were crazy, like out of control. It wasn't even like an idea, like everybody was kind of like thinking, oh, I don't know. Weren't you one of like the few guys that went out? Yeah, it was a pretty painful winter or start to the winter. It's like when people complain like, oh, the winter sucks. I'm like, oh, the winter is like six months. Like, who cares if it's been bad the first two months? Right. We're fine. No, oh. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But, um, it was it was actually the sunset event was on that day. Okay. And I think Ola Elegram got like a 10 that day, but it was kind of a north, north, north. It's a pinch of west. Like, it was like, like I said, it was a terrible winter at start. So I was like, oh, it's actually six foot at like couple random waves at like pipe back door I'm like I'm gonna take out I have all these new archives I'm like yes I'm gonna take out this fuck I've been drooling over this 6-8 okay quad like wax it up <laughs> don't even make it out get detonated break the board like, 
so freaked out. I'm like, oh my god, I just broke this brand new board. I didn't catch a wave on it. I was really freaked out. Like, yes. Go in, because there was like no one else. Like, oh, it's a window right now. And then by the time I went in, got another board, and went out. All kinds of guys were out. I'm like, god damn it. They so seen just, you because they seen you. Uh, I don't know if they saw me. I don't know if someone. You know, okay. once someone gets a wave, they all come out. Right. Okay. So I think so, there was a couple rides went down, and you know, like I said, I missed the little window. I was like, ah, oh, I just need to go out off the ball because. Like Breno is down there, Alex Gray. There's a couple, only a couple guys down there. Okay. Caught one wave on like the backup six six. So I'm like, I ain't taking out a brand new board to play anymore. Right. So I took out that board. I had a couple refreshments that day too, because there were some people in town. I took them down the sunset, showed them the contest, yakked it up, had yes. some beers, and then they left. And I'm like, oh fuck, I'm kind of bored. I might as well go out. And I went out, got detonated. Like, Damn. <laughs> Take out the backup, and then the wave came. I saw no, no. I saw the little indicator out second reef. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a big. Right. This set's coming directly yeah. to off the wall. Right. I'm like, I'm not paddling out because you know, and you think you always like, I gotta paddle out. I'm being caught inside, but over there, it doesn't break outside. It just loads and doubles. And, and you just say, I'm just gonna hold my ground. I'm just gonna stay right here. It's gonna come right here. But I was like, most of the time, it's either you get. Tossed, yes. Or you do like an air drop and go straight. Oh, yep, yep. So that one, it was coming in. I'm like, oh, it's kind of a little wind chip. In this right. Thing. I'm like, I think it can wind chip into. Like you got the like. It a, might be death or it might be a pit of a lifetime. So I chipped in. I'm on a quad. I'm like, oh my god. Like I'm not a super quad guy at the moment. Yes. But I quadded. And I'm like, oh my god. I gotta get off the bottom. I'm like, oh, right. we're gonna turn. Like, what's gonna happen right, right here? Right. Right. So it like. Got off the bottom and then I got in and the thing just went like F1 so fast. But then I thought I was gonna like, dry, I thought I was gonna go dry sand in there. It was so sucking up. And yeah, because like, no, oh, you can see it. when you when you bottom turn that thing, it's literally it was double like up boiling. like boiling. The like there was so much sand down there too at the time. I was like, oh my god. Okay, okay, just don't fall. I was like, I, yes. I was afraid the spit was gonna spit me off my board, you know, and like fall. Yes, that's happened to me a lot. I'm like, god damn it. I just got blown off by the spit. I'm a kook. So anyway, I get this. I'm like, I'm gonna get really wide and uh -huh. low, and I'm gonna get spit out. And right. I got spit out, and it was so big in there. I'm like, I don't even know if I got barreled. Right, right. And I came in, and my wife was on the me and my girlfriend on the beach at the time, and I'm like, she's like, that wasn't how. And I'm like, oh, I think I got a really good one. She's like, oh, okay. Yeah, you know, just talking. To but she used to go back to her girlfriend stuff with her friends, and then all of a sudden, all the houses, because I was when all the every company at a house and right all exiting running out like what the fuck oh my god that oh. was crazy yeah. i'm like oh yeah i don't know if it was crazy yet i'm like okay i'm like okay i'm gonna go up to the house so i go up to the house all those guys at the house ball around everyone's freaking out gave me a beer and i'm like okay i gotta run down to the oakley house because i'm pretty sure peanut was up there yeah he, like, yeah, yeah, he had a clip on there i'm like did you get it he's like oh man, i got it i already submitted it i'm like damn you're fast <laughs> And uh, so he showed me, I'm like, whew, okay, yeah, I got barreled, sick. So I went back to the house, continued the, you know, self-celebration. Right. And then that was a good winner, because after that I won the shootout. And after I won the shootout that day, they were like, you might win Wave of the Winner. I'm like, I didn't give a fuck about Wave. I just won the shootout. Right, dude. right. I don't even care about that. That was a good, that was a good wave. And then nine years later, I got Wave of the Decade. And and well, 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 was that 10, 10 more Gs, right? Or was it 20? It should have been 100. But well, yeah, I agree. It should have been 10 Gs every <laughs> year. It should have been 100 Gs, Wave of the Decade, right? <laughs> they gave me one grand for every year. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was another 10, so, you know, it was a very... Nice um, little side money, you know, a little a, side cash. It was a, an amazing Wave. I was, um... Celebration parties and stuff with everyone. Ooh, when one of the boys won. How, 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 gonna, how were those nights? I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that for the book. Okay, you can I save that the title book. of my book, but <laughs> it's gonna all be in there. Memoirs or something of pipeline. I don't know. <laughs> coming, no, but, coming soon. <laughs> I don't know when that's coming. But, <laughs> but no, those are amazing. Like, oh god, if, I always say if walls could talk. Oh, man. holy shit! Especially the um, the Jerry house and stuff. That's the new book in my house. It's like oh, all those houses. Yeah, every time. Andy or Bruce won something when they won a lot, so there's a lot of parties. There was. I'm glad we were there for it all. That was pretty epic. <laughs> I mean, what a time to be there. It was pretty fucking wild, bro. And oh, the, the, all the bands next door. I mean, I guess they still do the bands at the Volcom House. A couple guys, yeah. Not like they not used like, to. No, man. no, 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 man. Clint needs Before to go it freaking, was freaking next whoo. level. You're like, whoa, guys, <laughs> chicks everywhere. Guys are getting kicked out. Uh, Maybe some guys are 
flying out, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. out, out, crawling out, sleeping, <laughs> out cold, knocked uh, out. But, pass out drunk. <laughs> yeah, that was a good 20 year run of you know, the good times. How was I mean, pro- it's still good times. But it is. It was, there's never going to be stuff like that again. No, it was definitely a different time. It was a really good time to be a pro surfer when you guys. Had that, yeah, that, 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 or that era, you know what I mean? Like, it was pretty sick. Everybody was getting paid. Yeah, that was crazy because prior to getting paid, I'm like, you know what? I just gotta go there, I catch one wave, and we get paid. And that was the plan, and I executed the plan because I looked around, I'm like, man, M- oh, oh, Mayan, Merle, Fuller, like, oh, I mean, that's just from Kauai guys. These right. guys are all getting paid. Right. I'm like, I think I'm as good as them. I think I, think I can get paid. So. <laughs> It was nice to see the blueprint mm-hmm. and then just knowing like, oh, I just gotta go catch the wave. That's it. Right. I mean, it's harder, it's a lot harder than it sounds, but that's it all is. I need to do is catch the one. What's the lighting like right now? Are we pretty dark? Or you got some infrared on there? Oh yeah, oh, that's amazing light because I look like I'm 20 in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. What do you think's gonna win if it's not you? If you had to put your money on somebody? Oh, the money, the thoughts. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do I think? I don't know. I mean, Skywalker's pretty gnarly. Right. I like to go underground standpoints. Right. So he could be a candidate for sure because he's always busy out there. Um, she's Jamie. Oh, I don't know, Legend or Mana. Right. They catch some gnarly ones. Mason, Baron, I don't know, Billy. We could go down to Makua, Koa, yeah. Nate, yeah. John, I mean, Burger, yeah. Mason. Moana? I yeah, don't know. Moana? Yeah, yeah you never right. know. Wow, that wave she caught last year was That's insane. pretty heavy. Oh that my was, god. That wave was oh my god. It'd be crazy. Literally, literally the next heat She's in so the red. Hawaiian blue. I'm like, oh, you should go on this one. <laughs> and Claude's like, yeah, yeah, paddle. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, that was insane. Like the photos, the clip, the mm-hmm. wave itself, but that could have been wave of the winter. Right. If anything last winter, who got the nuts or wave? It's been, a, you know, it's been the usual start. You know, there's always one good swell in like October or even September, and then it goes again. Mm-hmm. But it looks like it's about to turn on. For right. Sure. There's some big swells and the lining next up. Week looks promising. Okay. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the winter, another season, another new year. boards. Just another year yeah. in paradise. I mean, I'm stoked to keep the dream alive, right? Right, yes. I'm stoked to see you every year. If you're still here, we're still we're here. We're still here somehow, or at least I am. <laughs> That's the weird part. <laughs> no way. Why is it weird? You're still I holding just, it down, you know, bro. There's a cat here, like, bro. Because it's like, I look at so many of my friends and they're not here anymore. Right, right. Well, it's... I mean, not physically not here, but yeah. There's no one. I look around, I'm like, oh, the landscape has totally changed. Right. Well, do, you have, do you have any message to, to the young kids? No, no messages to the don't don't get in Reeves' way. No. Sit in the channel and wait I'm, your I'm, turn. I'm a nice uncle. <laughs> <laughs> you actually are, bro. Yeah, You're no, the I'm man. Too nice. I get run over by the kids. Now. I'm like, oh, who's this guy? I don't recognize him, bro. He's not on Instagram. But um, oh, uh, I just want to say thank you to Teva, Black Bear, everyone behind the scenes that makes that company run. I mean, it's only you, Teva, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Teva. Really looking forward to this winter and. Let's do this burger. Good Thanks luck, for coming Reeve. over. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you no, for your time. I'm freaking be, stalled. I'm gonna be cruising on the side, just taking notes, watching. Stop it. So humble. <laughs> I might catch a wave. I don't know. Oh yeah, I gotta put Eli. He could. He could win it. Olson. He can win it. Olson. Yeah. He can win it. Ballerham could win it too. Yep. I don't know. See, I don't know who's judging. That's a great question. Uh, I don't. I don't know who's judging too. Uh, Tebo never told me I'm right. not judging. Like we could, but we're. I'm not gonna. Tomo could judge. Tomo could judge. He's seen enough what pipe waves and everything. That's yeah. too much pressure. But he, pick, but he picks favorites. That might be part two. <laughs> I think it's lame. I think there should be more events. I think they should bring back the triple crown. That's just my yep. personal opinion. Black but Bear, hey, Black Bear sponsor the triple crown. Yeah. Hey, you That's never next know. Year. You never know. Let's bring back the real triple crown again. So. Buy some grip pads. <laughs> grip Peace. pads for the win. <laughs> thank you guys. Hey, thank you, Reef. Good luck. Love you. Thank Love you, you so much. Be thank safe. You so much. Thank you. Thanks for holding it down. Thank you. You the man.